and she can fall apart. <laughs> I let you go. Never buy anything full price. Even when it's on sale, I still want money off. So this is everything that I bought today, guys. Yeah. How'd that feel? Sweet. I don't like spending a lot of money on designer brands because obviously <laughs> girls trying to invest in a house you know <laughs> so I need to save my money hey guys welcome to another video it's Tashika Bailey and if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button down below and join the family so in today's video I'm going to be doing like a vlog style get ready with me and then I'm gonna go out and do certain something because I'm trying to get into vlogging on my channel. I know I've said this before in the past that I want to get into vlogging and then I post a vlog and I, and I just disappear and I don't continue. So this year, I'm going to set it as a goal to be more consistent with vlogging on my channel because I actually want to vlog. I'm really, I just, I just want to get into vlogging, you know, I enjoy it when I do it. So yeah, that's the kind of content I want to bring to my channel. I feel like the reason I don't vlog as often as I would like to, especially in the house, is because I have siblings. I have four of them. I'm the oldest. Plus, I live here with my parents. We live in a small little house. And most of the time, everyone's home. So, for me to be vlogging, walking around, getting in their way, and then they're in my way, like, you know, the, the noise as well, like, I just... Even right now, you guys probably can't hear that because I have such a bomb microphone. Like, my microphone's so good. But my brother's out there listening to music. My dad's watching TV. My siblings, they're out there crying and walking around. My mom's on the phone. So there's just a lot going on. But never, nevertheless, I'm just going to try and vlog as much as I can. If it's easy... Why is he screaming? Guys, I'm such a perfectionist as well when it comes to like my videos and my content and editing like if I hear a little noise in the background I want to cut it out but I'm just gonna have to roll with it and realize that this is my reality this is life so just do what you're doing girl don't don't pay that no mind because people are not gonna watch the video less if there's noise in the background yeah they're here for the good content I'm in the mood to shop so depending on what time I finish getting ready and looking cute it depends where I go because it's um Sunday today and it's about 1 p.m so it depends how long I take to do my makeup and my hair and what time we leave out it depends where we go because I, I'm pretty sure that Westfield closes at six and Blue Water closes at five I've never been to Blue Water so that would be nice to go but I don't feel like today's the right day you know but yeah guys you'll see where we go in in this vlog so today I'm going to be installing a wig from Hair VV yeah guys I'm, I'm proper turning into like a wig youtuber <laughs> But I actually enjoy like wigs. I don't know why, but I'm really enjoying wigs these days, guys. The packaging, I must say, it looks so good. I've never worked with a brand before that has such cute packaging. You can tell that they take time um, with their packaging, which is really appreciated. So they all came in this nice little rose gold drawstring bag. And I love these bags because I always keep them and reuse them and just store things in them so I got a branded hair comb like baby hair comb it says hair vv on it I also got two like crocodile clips yeah that's all I got in the bag and then also got the wig Ooh, guys Look at this wig. This is the Rita Black with Brown Highlights wig, as you can see. I said in the last video that I'm actually tired of black hair, so I got something that has a little bit of highlight in it. It's not completely black, so that's cute. And this is like the Body Wave um, hair. It's 100% human hair. And this is a 3x6 lace frontal. Oh my gosh, guys. What I absolutely love about this wig is the fact that it is pre-plugged, of course, as you can see. So the hairline is nicely and cleanly pre-plucked. But what I absolutely love is the fact that it has a fake scalp. 
Now my shade is cappuccino. That's the one I got. It's the middle shade. They have a lighter shade and a darker shade. I got cappuccino, which is the middle shade. So this is like a fake scalp um inside the actual wig and this is a glueless wig so you don't need to use any adhesive when you're sticking it down and guys if you know me you know that i love a wig that is easy to put on i love a headband wig i love a u-part wig i love a wig that i can just put on my head and i don't have to do a lot like sticking it down and it's just not for me so a glueless wig like this is perfect this wig has a piano key if that's what it's called um adjustable band in it which is great so this is supposed to help secure the wig on your head and it also has some combs in the middle it comes with three combs one at the back and two at the sides the back as well is also adjustable so you can adjust it and make it fit your head. I got a cap size small which is about 21.5 inches and guys I've put this on my head already so I know that it fits me and it just looks amazing and yeah usually I have the issue where even a size small is too big for me because I have such a small pea size head. So I've literally just placed the wig on my head and as you can see it just looks so good like it literally blends into my scalp and it just matches it so well so I wouldn't need to add any foundation or any powder to the lace which is great so you can just keep it as is. The lace looks so good and the pre-plucked hairline looks amazing. This is Swiss lace by the way. Um, like HD Swiss, Swiss lace so it's supposed to blend into the skin and look perfectly and guys look at that I haven't even added any adhesive or anything and it just blends so well like I'm very impressed with the lace I must say this wig cap it actually fits perfectly the band in the back does an amazing job at keeping it secure this is the first time that I've tried a wig with the piano key band and it is such a huge difference let me tell you that girls like it just it just I just feel so secure and as I said this wig is not gonna have any adhesive I'm just gonna wear it glueless so right now i'm gonna stick down the ear tabs as you can see they're not really laying flat so i'm gonna use a little bit of the got to be spray and i'm just gonna stick those down so it will literally look like this once i've done it i'm not gonna do anything to the front because it basically looks seamless as i said you can see the hairline looks so nice and I'm not doing any baby hairs either because I'm just not a fan of baby hairs. It's necessary sometimes but with this wig the hairline is so clean and nicely pre-plucked that it's just not necessary and I'm a lazy babe. The less that I have to do on a wig the better for me so... <laughs> So I finished installing the wig and I've banded it down. I haven't used any adhesive here but I've actually just put the band on it and I've used some of the coconut oil mist that this is going to help it to just lay flat on my head and just blend seamlessly. I wanted to talk to you guys about something important. So my 25th birthday is coming up and though we love to party and turn up and live young and everything like that it is very important that we keep track of our health because health is the most is the most important thing like if you can't once your health deteriorates it's very very hard to get it back on track so it's best to just keep it on track from we're young as a young woman when you're turning 25 years old is very important that you get cervical a cervical screening this is something that every 25 year old woman should get done you you can't get it done below that age but once you're 25 and over that is the age that you start to do this now this is a screening um in our cervix and it helps to prevent cancer so they screen for a they screen for a cell virus called HPV. Now this is the cell that actually, it's an abnormal cell and it can turn into cancer if it's not treated in the early stages. So it's important that once you're 25, you go and get a cervical screening. I know it is scary because you never know what might happen. You never know what your results might be. 
and yeah it's very scary but you just have to get it done you don't want to just leave it to chance and then like you've had abnormal cells and then it turns into cancer and you you just didn't do anything about it whereas if you had the screening you've could have caught it in the early stages and they could have removed it from you and you'd you would have been all good you know guys my screening is coming up i actually received a letter um like last week and i booked the appointment with my gp so i've got that appointment to go to <sighs> It's making me a bit nervous, but I just have to get it done. You just have to go in with a, with a positive mindset and know that everything's going to be fine and pray to the Lord. A few years ago, if you guys remember from, if you're in the UK, I would say, um, there was this woman called Jade Goody. I remember my mum watching her on TV and she talked about getting the letters when she was younger. And she just completely ignored it. She didn't go to any appointments to get um, a cervical screening. And she ended up having the abnormal cell which turned into cancer. And she could have prevented it if she actually booked the appointment and went to get the screening, you know. But she didn't do it because obviously she was scared like a lot of people. It's very scary as I said. She talked about it and then she tried to warn other people and let them know that it's important to go and get this screening done. So yeah, I, I remember from from that that yeah it's important. So I've been I've had it in my head from like early 20s, my teens, early 20s, that like, okay, when I'm 25, I need to get this cervical screening thing done. They actually sent a letter and I can book it from now. I don't have to wait until like I'm fully 25 because that's all the way in October. When I go there, get my results and everything, I'm gonna update you guys. Hopefully it goes well, pray that it goes well and that everything is fine. You know, I try to be as healthy as possible. I don't drink, don't really, well, don't really drink often. I do drink a little bit when I'm out, like probably a cocktail. But not a lot um, of alcohol. I don't smoke or anything like that. I'm pretty much healthy. I mean, I eat a lot of takeaway sometimes, but <laughs> I kind of mix it. You know, you still have to have some kind of enjoyment in your life. You can't just have this dry ass life. If you're young female turning 25, make sure you get your cervical cancer screening done. Okay, you don't want to leave it to chance, and then you end up in problems. This is the final look. I absolutely love the way this wig looks. Guys, just look at the hairline. I've literally added no products to it and it's absolutely glueless. I absolutely love the way this wig looks. It feels so silky smooth. All I've added to it is this product right here. This is what I use in all my wigs to help it with the shine and just to make it look silky and sleek and not dry. Make sure you check out Hair VV to get yourself a nice glueless wig just like this one that I'm wearing. The link to their website will be in the description box below and all the information about this wig will also be in the description box box Ooh. guys i'm feeling myself i'm all dressed up and i'm ready to go out hey guys i'm on my way to westfield right now yeah now with, turn right with my mom mm -hmm. we have like an hour and a half <laughs> to shop <laughs> we're always late everywhere we are going late yeah. everywhere we don't know we're always late no matter what time you get up the sheet you're late i know i know we know are you you <laughs> yeah I true because I see them yeah <laughs> you see start getting ready for after 11 but when I didn't start I start filming like after, after 11 that's me look to you in the room me see you <laughs> you start filming like after 12 mm -mm. Mm -mm. if you come and I can't see if you're not ready yet and you think the wig would then be like super quick because it's glueless yeah but it's like quick so you won't it know. wasn't that quick because I still had to cut around my ear you know so becoming a wig specialist yeah. I had to like take my time with it mm -hmm. But it look nice. Mm, me like it. Look really nice. Me da weary. Mm -hmm. You know you are not go weary again. You know me go weary, mommy. Yeah. I'm wash it. But mm. this feels so silky. Mommy feel it. Yeah, nice. It doesn't feel like it's gonna tangle or no, shed or. No, me like it. And because it's glueless, yeah. it's it's perfect. And you know, and, and you yeah. never curl it. Yeah, me never curl it. Mm -mm. You know, so me go put it back on me. Cause it glue on each each up in the, yeah. the front too. Yeah, you can just take it down for later and just put on it back again. Yeah, and it look the same. Yeah. I like it. it. The hairline is just perfect. I love it, touch, I love the colour. You said that you're wearing black, 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 black. Mm -hmm. you Something good for change the colour, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can just wash it and curl it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
look nice. I can't take it. I can't take it. This front dash is coming here. I put on glue. Mm -hmm. No, sir. It take too long. Pillow time. You will lay lying and then sitting there. Especially the one where you have to literally lay down. Not that. Not to be in a but you have to lay down the actual glue for your yeah. forehead. That one's the worst. Wait, pan if it dry. When people are here, they hear back and back behind their ears. All they sitting there. No, sir. And they still are weary. No matter how they take off, they still are weary. Put on it. Mm -mm. You know, sometimes when they, when they put the, the hair glue, the ghost bond glue or whatever glue you yeah. use, it, it actually stick and you, you can't lift up. So you have to use like, the alcohol yeah. to get rid of it and that's what bond you find. Sometimes that's because it's four or five different glue. Mm -hmm. They might put on glue and then they might spray again mm -hmm. and then they might burn it down. <laughs> they might, they might say shit. But you need to sit for hold it down and the alcohol will have to hold your skin. Yeah. Mm-mm. I'm going to show them outfits. Oh, yeah. Reach. Yeah. So they're nice there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's warm. Yeah, just look nice like that, don't. Yeah. We're in Stratford, but I missed my turn ages ago. Yeah. And it took me on the motorway, and then I was driving around for so long. So now it's like five o'clock. So if by you the go time to the Westfield, we, yeah. yeah. We just we just drove up to the car park. But if you go Turn in there, right we only have like lane. we have like one minute, one hour. Yeah. To shop, and that's just pointless. But the problem is you don't even know if you have one or the shop because the shopping centre closed six. Yeah. But so maybe the shop then closed like five. Yeah. It's just a two minutes. So we're trying to find a restaurant now. In 300 yards, turn left onto okay. White Post Lane. Any restaurant that you don't have to book. Yeah, we can just go. Right. Right. Why are you not um, running so I don't know. This is like our community that people don't make. It's a camera on Oh, yeah. Itash. It what? The restaurant. No, they say they? Yeah, see it there. It's like a boat restaurant. See it there. Look at you, Jan. Yeah. <laughs> it looks different, though. Yeah. Hey, Jan. 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 They have something over there, like, um... Where music is a rod and we are moving. This is going, it's a cold, it's so nice and cozy, no? <laughs> Just last, I end up with my ear. It could be a party, I'd sit there. We're in yeah. East London, guys. I think we're, we're in, like, Hackney Wicks. That's I the don't station. Know. Well, it says Hackney Wicks at the station, so... That's where we are. We found this restaurant. What's the name of it? I don't know neither. Well, we are gonna see. We are gonna see it. Yeah. And I will find vibes this yeah, another restaurant. We find a lot of bar and bar. yeah. Where does the bar? And? I don't know. There's two spots. Like, look yeah. at this. Like cool places like this, where you can just chill, hang out, drink, and vibes. This is the place that we were talking about guys. Basically like a restaurant on a boat and it's just bare vibes here. Like, I really like this area. There's people jogging, there's people cycling, there's people walking. Ugh. We're always in South East. We never really come to South, so this is exciting for us. I fall apart. I let you go. No, no, wait. It's your main road. I use the ghost. Wait, wait, wait. How should I do it? You stash. Use the hair bonding glue. You know, Remember the one I'm buy. You know, I've got to stick off the next one. This ain't right. Cause you didn't travel with the glue. It's Aaliyah J. She put me on this ghost bonding glue, the hair hair glue in it for yeah. eyelashes. And said, oh, it's the best thing ever. Now look at me. That's she cause now my black glue you, you use where, where people use for glue down here. Yeah, so it's she, not no, for no, lash. She says she uses for eyelash and it stick. So how come for you? Well, maybe if you are she's gonna win a blow. Yeah, yeah. But it looks better there the next year, what do you expect? Of course, look at this. First time me, I use it too, you know. Look at this. It blew off. So I've got to take off the next one. So you have a one eyelash. Maybe, maybe, it, could, maybe it could be a thing. <laughs> New trend. <laughs> New trend. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't know. You can't, you can't put oh, the air glasses then. <laughs> that picture of you is awesome. <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Look. 
Ay, say, it looks so hot in your lashes. In it. Thank God, it's a picture. At least we catch it, I didn't know, I'm last it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys, we're just taking it as a photo. At least we don't take a picture there. I'm not good by Instagram, say nobody nothing. Okay, let's go. Okay, there we go. Yes, I'm going to rinse that. You mean eyelash blow up? Yeah, we can blow up. No. <laughs> Stay outside like this, Tash. But I bring my jacket. Mm hmm. I'm never come to stay so late. Let's go back then. Can we walk up here so far? See ya. Yeah, but we didn't expect you to come on and eat, like, <laughs> but we 
Oh my gosh. Oh God. Does she get this? Does she get this? Someone should drop on me. So what we can do to Tashika one day, yeah? Ooh. Well, Saturday or well, Sunday or whatever, we come early. That was traumatic. Yeah? <laughs> we can't just vlog the whole thing. Yeah, when we it's we can't just vlog the early. whole thing, no? Yeah. yeah. So we, I, I think that's this is where we go stop. Yeah, we never know. We all know of all these other players. Oh, mommy, that was very traumatic for me. No, Tash. Quick before entry and come panda on your too. This vlogging thing is serious, like it makes your hands hurt. Yeah. <sighs> Guys, I'm chilly. You I wish it was hot. It. Yeah, but I, I'm still chilly. I wish it was hot, like in Jamaica. Oh, but this is not Jamaica because this is England. I wish it was. Guys, I'm always driving and getting tickets. Yeah, we'll so I'm very first. careful. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a ticket today because I no, turned on a road that was only meant for buses and taxis. So I'm definitely sure I'm gonna get a ticket. Yeah, we'll probably do one turn. Or we're not supposed to do. Yeah, the amount of tickets I've gotten since I've started driving, I think I've got like six tickets. So like when it comes to parking, I'm very careful. But the problem is that she can run here. So all I'm supposed to park. You can park anytime it's okay. on Sunday. Okay. There's no restrictions. It's only Monday to Saturday. Well, let's place that enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like every corner, every well, It's a party central. Yeah. Everybody there. Imagine over here, Saturday night. Yeah. And we just at home on Saturdays. And I'm back to my beloved beauty. Oh, come back. She hasn't got a name though, or he hasn't got a name, I don't know. It's just called the car. <laughs> Chica, I'm not the koala. So I'm back home now guys, after getting lost on my way to Westfield, Stratford, I ended up in a place called Hackney Wicks because we just decided, you know what, Westfield's not going to see us today, we were running way way behind um, schedule, obviously I said it closed at 6 and we were still driving around like quarter to 5, so we knew there was no point going to Stratford, all the shops would be closed and then we would have parked and I have to pay for parking just to go to Westfield for them to close. So we decided to just go to a restaurant instead. My mum googled places to eat in East London and she found this place called Barge East and it just randomly popped up and she was like yeah it looks cool let's go. I just love the vibe of the area as well it was just so nice and cozy and I can imagine the vibes that it would have in summer when it's extremely hot and everyone's out and in a good mood and you can actually wear like nice clothes, a little batty rider and just... <laughs> Just have your skin out. I can imagine what it would be like. And obviously it's in a garden area, so it's outside. So just imagine what it would be like when it's hot. There's music playing and everything. And that whole street, like there were like a lot of street you guys saw. Every street that we went on, there was something going on. There was either a food truck or there was music or there was just good vibes. I love the graffiti, the whole area. The whole area just looked amazing. Right now, I wanna show you guys some products. So I got a lot of products in PR that I'm going to show you guys. Most of them is skincare products. And then I also bought some stuff that I want to show you guys as well. I mentioned in my last video that I did a little haul. I treated myself to a few things. So I want to show you guys that in this video. The thing about me is I usually go shopping, like, not often. But when I do, I will spend because I have stuff in my basket or on my wish list, wish list that I give myself a few weeks or even up to a month to consider if I really, really want to buy it. And if I still want to buy it after a month, then I will buy it. So usually I have a couple items and then when I start spending, everything I get by, everything, everything, I'm buying everything. So today I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I bought first, then I'll show you guys the PR haul. First thing I'm going to show you guys are these sunglasses. Now these I got from ASOS and they were literally £10 guys. They were £10, can you imagine? They look so good. I wore them today. Look at them. Guys, you do not need to spend thousands of pounds on a designer pair of sunglasses just because they're designer. These ones look just as nice and they were only £10. Look how nice they look. These are the kind of shades that you wear when you know you're someone like me i'm a youtuber right i'm someone but i want people to notice me but i don't want them to notice me if you get the vibe <laughs> and I'd be like yeah 
I'm someone, I, I do something. You're gonna look at me and be like, who's that? Who's that over there? Why is she wearing those big ass glasses? That like she's not trying to be caught, like she's not trying to be found out. I don't want anyone to come up to me, but I want you to know that I'm someone. These are these kind of glasses. Oof. I also got another pair of glasses. I'm really trying to step up my accessorizing game so I can accessorize my outfits a lot better. I have a lot of outfits, but not a lot of accessories. So I got these ones as well from ASOS. These were 18 pounds. These are just narrow, like square sunglasses. I love them, I can't wait to wear these. Oof. And the thing that I love about these is that even though they are affordable, they are very sturdy and very durable. They don't feel thin and flimsy. These ones are from a weekday and these ones, they don't even have any branding whatsoever, which I love. I love the fact that they're just plain and simple, but I'll have the link for everything in the description box below. I got a bag. I got a bag from the brand Valentino. This one's from ASOS. Guys, it's not the expensive brand. It's not the designer designer Valentino. This is like the, the brand below Valentino. It's still Valentino, but it's not designer. You know, you get what I'm saying? Okay, cool. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me with this bag. I absolutely love, love, love this bag. I actually first came across it when I was looking for a Christmas present from my friend. And I really, really liked this bag, so I bought it for her. And then I was like, that bag is so cute. When it arrived, I loved it, so I bought one for myself as well. And I do absolutely love it. The leather on it is amazing. I love the black and the gold Valentino writing on it. It just goes with everything. It comes with a long crossbody strap if you want to wear it with that. Or you can just wear it by itself. And because I loved it so much, when I saw the pink colour, you know I had to buy it. This is what it looks like. And guys, this would have looked so, so nice with the outfit that I wore. I think it was like two weeks ago when I went to Big Easy. Even more than that. It was like, I'll show you guys the outfit. It would have looked so nice with it and I wish I had it at the time. They also have a Valentino belt. It has the V on it. As I said guys, this is not the proper designer expensive Valentino brand because ain't nobody is going to be spending up their money on those kind of brands. I know you see everyone else on Instagram doing it, but I just don't get the hype over designer. I really don't. And I'm glad that I don't. I just can't fathom spending £500 on a handbag. £800, £1,000. I just, even on a pair of shoes, I just, I just don't know how people do it. But for me, obviously, I do like nice things. I'm not going to spend £500 on a bag. But this was £85 and I did get a discount. Because, you know, you're a bargain hunter. I got this for £59 from ASOS. Though I don't like spending a lot of money on designer brands, because obviously <laughs> girls trying to invest in a house, you know? <laughs> so I need to save my money. But I do like, as I said, nice things. And this is a good quality bag. It's not the proper designer, but it is a good quality bag and it's gonna last me a good while. I've had this one for, I think a year and a half and it looks good as new. I keep them pretty good, like I keep them in good condition because obviously I've spent a bit on them. To me, that is a lot of money. If I'm spending 60 pounds on a bag, that is a lot of money. It also comes with the crossbody strap and inside it comes with a, a Valentino dust bag. So this is what you can store it in to keep it safe. Obviously you've spent, a bit of money on a bag so you're gonna want to keep it in good conditions right i'm trying to get a white bag but i have i've been looking online and i can't find a nice white bag that i really like that is good quality not the little cheap white bag but like a good quality white bag that i can wear again and again and again it doesn't have to be valentino it could just be a nice good quality bag um what else a brown bag as well i'm trying to get a nice quality brown Bag. and I don't want to have too many of these ones I think the black and the pink is good for now the next thing I want to show you guys is this watch that I bought I actually bought two watches 
And these are also from ASOS as well. Got this Vivian Westwood watch. I actually watched a documentary with Vivian Westwood when I used to work at BBC and she's quite cool. I like her punk rock edgy style and everything so she's not problematic or anything like that. I really like her brand and her, her whole message and her whole vibe which is why I decided to buy her, buy into her brand. So this is the first watch that I'm going to show you guys. It's the Vivian Westwood Too Faced Too two-toned square face watch and I just love the silver and like this rose gold kind of color that it has going on I haven't really got any proper nice watches I just want to invest in some good quality products like watches as I said jewelry I'm starting to up my jewelry game from my friend brought me these earrings from Pandora I think it was for Christmas was it like two years ago I've been really into like proper good quality jewelry so I'm willing to invest into good quality jewelry and I realized that when I spend a bit more on items and products I actually take good care of them like as I said the bag I've had it for a year and a half and I take good care of it if it was from somewhere else like pretty little thing or something I would just dash it in the corner when I'm done and I won't actually look after it but yeah when you spend money on things you appreciate them and you look after them because you know it's you know it's it's expensive so you're gonna look after it right so this is like my first proper nice watch it's a little bit big for my wrist so I am gonna have to get it adjusted but I'm gonna go to one of those watch places and get them to do it for me professionally because I don't know anything about watches and I'm not gonna go and tamper with it and try and do it myself even though I love doing things myself because you're saving money if I don't know how to do it I'm not gonna mess around and mess up when I get it adjusted I can't wait to rock it I wanted to get a nice gold watch because most of the time I wear jewelry I'm wearing gold jewelry so having just a nice staple gold watch would make all the difference and sometimes I see like people on Instagram in their outfits and having a really nice watch watch on your wrist it really makes a difference I know it's not practical this is why I didn't want to invest in watches because what you're meant to use them for to tell the time no one uses them for that they literally become a fashion statement like no one uses them for the purpose that they're intended again it's big for my wrist as you can see but it's really neat and it's really cute I was actually unsure whether I wanted to keep it but now it's gone past the, the return date so I have to keep it this was £155. I know that because I was really contemplating whether or not I should buy it. I did get a discount, but it was still... Actually, no, yeah, it was. Still, I think it was still over £100. The This one here, the two-toned one, this one was £120 and I actually got it for £90 on sale. Well, I got a discount from the sale price. The £120 is a sale price. It's, an, it's originally £160. And it's on sale on ASOS for 120 and I got it for £90. This gold one, it's on sale for £155, but it's actually £255. I also got a discount because, you know, you girl love a discount. You have to be a bargain hunter, guys. Never buy anything full price. Even when it's on sale, I still want money off. I just found this wrist tape measurement situation in the watch box. Guys, since I've had these watches, I haven't opened this little booklet whatsoever. I've been so fascinated and intrigued by the watches that I just couldn't be bothered to read anything. But I just found this in the box and it says, Should your bracelet length requires alteration, please fill in your name and address in block capitals in the opposite space and send the watch with the wrist tape to this address so they offer a free watch alteration service and they said it should be done within 48 hours guys and i was literally about to go and pay somebody to alter my watch but now i can do it for free both of them i mean after spending so much money on these watches they better offer some kind of service like this i wasn't even thinking about that so now I've got the watches out of the way, I'm going to show you guys some of the skincare products that I've received recently. Now these are all PR so that means they're free. The first brand is one called Sand and Sky. Or is it Sky and Sand? No, Sand and Sky. This is an Australian skincare brand and they sent me their Australian pink clay 
pore refining face mask it is supposed to remove impurities and brighten the skin it comes with a little brush just like this that you can use to apply it so this is the australian emu apple enzyme powder polish this is supposed to remove dull and bring back the brightness so this is like a brightening product as well this is a powder that you put on like you can put it on your hands or put it on an exfoliating cloth or anything like that and you just rub it into your skin and it's supposed to exfoliate your skin and remove like dead skin cell it's supposed to leave your skin with a nice glow this is nice still yet to try it out because i want to start a brand new skincare routine and i want to use like a small amount of products at a time so I can actually see which products are working. If I use too many of these products, I won't know which products are working for me. These are the products that I got from a brand called Verst. Got four products from them. The first one that I want to talk to you guys about is the cleansing balm. Now this is something that I've been seeing everywhere. Not this particular particular brand but I've been seeing like Clinique's take the day off cleansing balm that I've been seeing everyone use and I was actually gonna buy it because I wanted to use something other than wipes to remove my makeup I know that wipes is so bad for our skin and the planet as well full of plastic so yeah I, I was happy when they sent me this cleansing balm I've already used it once I wanted to test it out and see if it actually works before I like come on camera and talk to you guys about it. I really do like it. It has like a minty scent. I also got a cleansing gel. Now this is called Wash It Off Gel Cleanser. It has rose water and seaweed extract in it. I love the blue colour and I love the bottle. I got a brightening serum which is, it has vitamin C. And licorice root extract in it obviously it's supposed to brighten the appearance eye creams are something that I actually wanted to get into usually I just apply the same products that I've been using on my face under my eye but I wanted to get into eye creams you know getting a bit older now so I need to keep the skin under my eye just as nice as everywhere else this is feels very jelly i also got some from a brand called good molecules they sent me quite a few of their products this is the niacinamide brightening toner this is formulated with niacinamide vitamin c arbutin licorice root extract oh this is the same as the brightening serum also has vitamin C and licorice root extract from Verst. One thing that I'm excited to try is their silicone free priming moisturizer. This is formulated with shea butter, macadamia seed oil and a plant derivative silicone alternative to deeply hydrate, smooth and nourish the skin. This is a primer and I believe you can wear it before applying makeup. So I also have a glycolic exfoliating toner formulated with glycolic acid and I don't even know how to pronounce that word so I'm not even going to try. And this is to remove dead skin cells and to help promote glowing skin. I've got two more products from Good Molecules. One is this discoloration correcting serum. This is to help with hyperpigmentation and to even out skin tone. I actually used this one a couple times, but as I said, I haven't built a proper skincare routine yet, so I haven't like consistently used any of these products for a, a long time. I just try this time, try this one a couple times just to see what it was like. Last thing that I have from Good Molecules are these caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches. As I said, I wanted to get into skincare for under the eye, like eye creams, eye patches, stuff like that. <laughs> so I chose these. I did exactly as it said on the instructions and the next morning I woke up, my eyes looked swollen and it just didn't look nice. My mum was laughing at me. And I was like, yeah, that's what I get for trying out new products. But obviously you have to try to see if it will work, right? I did get some products from a brand called Khalil's. And I got a 
Ultra Facial Cleanser. This is a liquid cleanser and I've been using this for a good minute now. As you can see, it's almost finished. This has been my regular cleanser. It's for all skin type. I also got their Ultra Facial Cream, which is a 24 hour daily lightweight hydrating formula for healthy looking skin. I have not used this whatsoever, but I feel like I need to. Just opened it to show you guys. I also got a face mask from Kiehl's and it's their petal infused calming face mask. It's to soothe and relieve skin from discomfort. The yellow colour looks like it's, it's about to do something, you know, it looks very, very serious. <laughs> I'm getting super, super tired right now. I've showed you guys everything. This haul will turn out to be a lot longer than I thought it would be and I'm getting so tired right now. I don't even know what the time is. It's 11.30 at night. I need to take my makeup off. I need to take my wig off. I need to go to my bed. I completely forgot to show you guys one last product. Some shoes that I bought from Public Desire. These shoes I've already worn before. Go to my Instagram to see the picture of me wearing these oh my gosh guys these are some platform heel shoes i really like heels love 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 heels like they just make an outfit look so much better than if you're wearing flats or if you're wearing trainers heels are everything i don't really want i don't really like like spike heels or stiletto heels they hurt Though they look cute, they really do hurt. So I prefer platforms and block heels. They're so much more comfortable. And because I'm short, they give me height. They give me height. These are gorgeous. And these were on sale. I'm pretty sure that I got them for like £10, guys. Everything I buy, I buy on sale. I will not buy anything unless it's on sale or unless I can get a discount from it. But yeah, that's the last item I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go... take my makeup off and do everything that I need to do and I'll see you guys in the next clip. So it's Monday today and I'm on my way to the gym. See so you guys, I'm being consistent and I'm letting you know what I'm getting up to like on a regular. So right now I'm on my way to the gym. I'm wearing the same wig. This is the first time that I'm actually wearing a glueless wig to the gym. I've installed it the same way that I did yesterday. So I've only stuck down the ear tabs, this bit here and this bit but the front has no adhesive whatsoever so it's completely glueless wow i'm running late and there's literally a big rubbish truck in front of me why is it always when i'm late that these things happen wow i have like 10 minutes to get there and i'm supposed to already be there this is supposed to be my warm-up time i'm supposed to be warming up right now but you know it's okay, it's okay. I'm actually gonna vlog my session and show you guys what I'm doing today. We're doing leg day, I'm sure. So we're gonna be doing like squats. Not sure if we're deadlifting, I think that's more Fridays, but I think we I definitely know that we're doing squats. That's one thing. I haven't really ate anything either, which is terrible. I really should have, but I just stalled. I wish I could reverse and just go a different way, but this is what it is. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I haven't really ate much, which is terrible because I should have ate. Obviously, I'm going to the gym to work out, but when I'm done, I'm going to go buy some food. And then when I get back home, I'm going to cook. I've been late this whole past week and my trainer's like, what's wrong with you girl? I used to be on time or early. I was even early in the beginning because I didn't want to waste my money. You know, I wanted to get the most of each session, but now I'm like, I've got so much stuff to do. When I got home last night, I literally just took my wig off, took my makeup off and went to sleep i didn't even get to eat the burger guys the chicken was undercooked and i was so mad because i was hungry as hell but yeah i had to just throw it in the bin because i'm there's no way i'm eating undercooked chicken yeah that was not it so i woke up this morning and i had to tidy my room because i left my room in a state last night before i went out my room was just 
completely a mess that's how it gets when I'm filming and when I'm going out like it just the gym makes me even more hungry so I know that when I finish I'm just gonna be starving probably just gonna have to buy a snack well I'm gonna go shopping anyways but I'm gonna have to buy a snack and just have it well I have a peanut punch what? did I even bring it yeah I have a peanut punch in my bag so I'm gonna have that after the gym and then I want to eat something you know I don't just want to drink I want to eat so I'll probably get like a, a protein bar or something I'm almost there and I've got three minutes hey guys finally and it's 3 30 i'm literally supposed to be in the gym right now working out but you know it's okay i've got this i'm pretty sure my trainer is used to me by now but i really need to do better so i'm here at the gym guys as i said i'm late i'm like 10 minutes late but i'm gonna get ready as quick as i can and then i'm gonna start my little warm-up with my trainer and then get straight into the workout Something she's doing something because she's late, basically. I'm joking. All right, so ankle mobility great for squats, help with your squat depth. Um, and also, so when you're trying to get lower on the squats, it allows your hips to go further down. And if you can get your knees over your toes a little bit more, it stops your heels from lifting and hurting your knees, etc. Last one, quick one, quick one. Okay, so, so tap down. done and we're heading to the free weights room and that's where we're going to do the main workout. Uh, we've got goblet squats, good for your quads, good for the core as well, nice. We got to see the from Jamaica. <laughs> so I'm putting her off. Let's go. Let's go. Here, one more. One more. How was that? Heavy. How was warm up though, no? It wasn't bad. It was a bit heavy. It's the pad that I have, which is to help when I'm squatting or doing hip thrusts. So we're gonna do some squats now. Right, Ted, look at that muscle stand. <laughs> Good squats. Good. Good depth. So always make sure you warm up, guys. Nice, go one more.
straight into that. Let's go. Wow, smile for the camera. Nice, let's go. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Instagram, but we're two and a half minutes into our two minute rest period. But you know I need a longer rest period. We're now nearly three minutes into our rest period. Hey fans. No, 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 don't do that now. Cause when the camera went there, you went there now. <laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> So guys, the battery died, so I went to change it. Just checking my wig to see if it's still intact. The hairline has not moved and I have been sweating like hell. I'm gonna go back, get back into the room and we're gonna do some reverse dead. I don't know, we're gonna do something to do with my hamstrings. We'll see. Uh, we've got RDLs, but we need dead legs. We've got Sheeta with the form. Keeping the dumbbells close, keep your hips fairly high, back straight. Make sure you're engaging the hamstrings. Good. Squeeze the back of the leg. No, 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 no. Come on, you can't give up. You can't give up. Okay, go two more, two more, two more. Come on. Nah, what's that about? My hands hurting. <laughs> Let's go, concentrate. Concentrate to shoot that. Cool. Nice. Good RDL form. Back straight. As you can see it. Hips go to the back. Fully engaged. Weight's nice and close to the body. Look at that. That is all me right there. <laughs> Yeah, Tashika. What are you saying? That is all me right there. Body by Francis. <laughs> That's it. Body by Francis. Tell him. Body by F1. See the back as well. Jeez. Cool. Nice. Two more. One more. Nice. Good. Oh, health and safety. I just feel oh. for that. Oh, My heart's hurting. My heart's hurting. Yeah? For your people, it's killing my arm, guys. It's a bit here. You want your people to know you don't give up. You never give up, ever. She's come a long way. Um, she's done really, really well, really, really well. Um, she's put on a lot of muscle, a lot of weight. Um, she's doing pull-ups, 
she's um, lifting way more than her body weight in squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts. Um, and yeah, she's been so consistent, man. Um, you guys should be proud of her. I'm proud of her. I won't tell her though. <laughs> so yeah. Let's get this work. We're gonna finish with some core now. So we finished all the leg workouts. We're about to do some abs. So I'm gonna get a mat and just sit up and wait for Francis. What? What's that about Francis? So we're gonna do abs. Abs of friends. Yeah, so I'm gonna sit up for you. We're just doing like strength stuff, um, strength stuff, um, trying to work on building her muscles and um, trying to push her out of her comfort zone. So ab roller is one of my favorite um, because it gets you to really, really squeeze your core rather than like crunches and sit-ups and things like that. That is an intense um, core strengthening exercise which is going to help us improve our lifts. So when you get to like heavy squats, deadlifts, and all these heavy lifts, you need your core to be super, super strong. So these are some of the um, complementary um, exercises that you can do. I hope you enjoyed it today. It um, was a good session, I actually enjoyed it. Wow, well, it's the first one she's enjoyed in about four months. Uh, So I finished up at the gym and I'm about to go shopping. I feel like I want to go as done just to get some stuff because I'm so hungry right now. Guys, these things right here, these naked bars, I really, really love them. They're quite pricey for me. They're two pounds, but they're so good. I have to buy them. This out, this is where I usually get all my bars and like protein stuff. These drinks are my faves. I'm actually gonna get four, no, five, because five is for four pounds. So I'm gonna get some of that. I don't know why I left my trolley, my trolley so far away. Oh, okay. Two. The vanilla flavor is the best. So I just get vanilla. Sometimes I get strawberry or I'd get the chocolate, but the vanilla is honestly the best. 20 grams of protein in just this little one. And sometimes I have like two in one day because it's, it's a lot, but it's not that much. These are called the pizza pockets. This is the triple cheese one. I don't eat pork, so I don't get the pepperoni one, but they do have that if you eat pork. It's two for three pounds or two pounds for one. What I really love about them is that they're very light, but they actually have a lot of calories in them. So this has 338 calories. Can you imagine? I always have to buy all of them when I see them because they sell out so quickly. Here's the one that I always get. So I'm gonna get this one. It's three pound fifty, which is better than the usual five ninety nine or whatever it is. So I'm gonna get this one. Or should I get the Hagen Dazs? Yeah, I'm gonna get the Hagen Dazs, the salted caramel. <laughs> Guys, I'm so indecisive when it comes to this stuff, but you know, this is why you go shopping. I'm not gonna get this one. It's fifty p cheaper, so I might as well save fifty pence. I'm on camera. So this is everything that I bought today guys. I got gravy granule, these spice buns, I really really love these. I got three of them, I already ate one. I got four of these, I absolutely love these things. I also got some oranges, I'm going to juice these with celery, I heard that celery juice it's really good for you, but I don't like it on its own. It's just, eh. So I mix it with orange and it just 
it gives it a nice flavor together also got these naked bars the orange cocoa flavor absolutely love them they're vegan i believe and they're 100 percent natural got some bananas i got these Sometimes I have like two or three in one day because it doesn't actually fool me up. I've got some strawberry and mango tea. This is the first time I'm going to be trying this. I usually drink peppermint tea, but I decided to try flavoured tea, you know, just get into something different. Guys, these are my favourites. I absolutely love, love, love peanut punch. I got some broccoli. These are the tender stem broccoli and some potatoes. If you guys know me, you know that I love potatoes. I actually got three packets of them, but I already emptied one out. So I got three of those. And Hagen does ice cream. Also got these chin chins. They're these African snacks. Got some tomatoes. I have this like with my salad, with the broccoli. I got another packet over here. And I also get this ribeye beef like, i think it's like four pound fifty or you can get two for eight pounds usually they have like three for ten pounds but they change it now to two for eight pounds so i just buy i bought four of them i've just cooked two and i just have it with potatoes and the broccoli and spinach that's usually my vegetable on the tomatoes and sometimes cucumber and i bought here a large 12 large eggs free range eggs so that's everything that I bought. Usually this comes up to like £50 and I'll do a shop like this like two or three times for the month. I know guys. It's a lot of money but when you're bulking you're going to want to eat a lot so you end up spending a lot. And for someone like me who is quite picky when I eat, well I'm not that picky like I like fast food but I'm picky when it comes to cook stuff. Sometimes I don't feel like having beef so I have salmon or I have chicken. I need to go and buy some fresh salmon from the meat market. Is that what it's called? I don't know. The place that sells the fresh salmon. I need to go and buy some. Because instead of having steak, like today I feel for steak. But tomorrow I might want to have salmon and potatoes. So I have that. I really do love pasta and other dishes. But I haven't been in the mood for those dishes. So I've just been having potatoes. Potatoes are just beautiful. And the thing is it doesn't fool me up. So I'll make like two steak tonight and i'll have one of that and then like an hour later i'm hungry again so then that's like two meals in one night beautiful plus i have like peanut punch and a banana and lots of other stuff this literally lasts me like i don't know two weeks or so if that because it's, it's it's just very very small selections of food and like oranges celery banana these are stuff that i'll eat off in like a week like they're very limited like the meals that you can get out of this but this is just me this is what i do and this is what's been helping me to gain weight um obviously this and takeaway so right now i've finished making my dinner i've got the potato cucumber tomato spinach over here i've got broccoli beef and here i'm about to make gravy i like to put onions in my gravy when i make it so that's what i'm about to do and then i'm just gonna go and eat and watch a show and chill i know you didn't get your flu shot but the hospital just got restocked oh okay cool i'll make an appointment oh no you won't rainbow why are you trying to inject my grandson with white people mystery chemicals oh ruby please tell me you're not one of those people that believes in the conspiracy theories around the flu shot it is so odd for Dre to be late for work. Oh, Charlie, is, is today some sort of black holiday we don't know about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> today is Black Tuesday. <laughs> it's Wednesday. Yeah, that's just, that's just how we do no, no, you stay. It's for black people only. I've just finished eating and I feel tired AF. The gym makes me hungry, but it also makes me tired. Okay, especially after leg day. Um, I'm just gonna take my wig off, take my makeup off, have a shower and just go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I think it was quite an interesting one, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment below and let me know if you enjoyed the vlog, if you found it interesting and I'll continue to do vlogs like this. I actually quite enjoy the vlogging, so yeah, I might just continue it. I'm trying to be consistent with it, so obviously 
if you guys enjoy it then i'm gonna post more so let me know don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video bye